In this video, we're going to talk about how to classify polynomials by the degree as well as the number of terms. So let's kind of go through what exactly is a polynomial. Well, a polynomial, it's a sum or difference of monomials. What's a monomial? Well, a monomial is basically like a number or a variable or a product of a number and a variable to a positive uh, integer exponent. So you don't want to have negative exponents or fractional exponents. You don't want the variable in the denominator. You don't want, uh, you don't want something like this where the variable is in the exponent position. That's not a polynomial. So you want to think about uh, a sum or difference of monomials. So let's go through the different uh, terminology here. So the number of terms, the terms are separated by plus or minus. A term is basically like a group. And so if you only have one group, we call that a monomial, for example, like 5x. But if you have two terms, we call that a binomial, kind of like bicycle, right? Bi for two. And you can see they're separated by that plus or minus sign. So an example might be like 2x plus 1. A trinomial, there's three terms, 1, 2, 3, again, separated by a minus or plus. Uh, this would be another example of a trinomial. And then a polynomial that has four terms, we can just call it a polynomial with four terms, or a polynomial with five terms, or a polynomial with six terms. But when it's just one, two, or three, I have a special name, monomial, binomial, trinomial. So that's classifying it by the number of terms. How do we classify it by the degree? Now, the degree is whatever the highest uh, exponent or that highest power is. So if it's a zeroth degree, we call that a constant. This is sometimes referred to as the type. And if it's zero degree, that just means it's like a number, like seven or five or two. But if it's a first degree, the type is linear. And again, you can see this is like a line and see how it's, that's to the first uh, power, the first degree. Now, if it's a second degree, we call it a quadratic. See how 3x squared plus 2, that highest exponent is a 2. Third degree, we say cubic. 5x cubed is an example. Fourth degree, quartic. See, again, that highest power is 4. Fifth degree, we call it quintic. Highest exponent here is 5. See, this one's 2, but you go with the highest one. And then after that, you could just say 6th degree, 7th degree, 8th degree, etc., nth degree. So it's got two names, kind of like a first and a last name. Let's go through these 10 examples. You might want to try and pause the video or take a screenshot, see if you can do these, and we'll go through them. So for number one, what do you think here? f of x equals 2x minus 3x squared plus 4. Notice that highest power is a 2. So we're thinking, okay, it's going to be a quadratic. How many terms does it have? 1, 2, 3. So we call it a quadratic trinomial. Okay, let's try number two. What do you think for this one? f of x equals 7 minus 3x to the fourth power. Well, again, you can see the highest exponent is 4. This is like zeroth degree. That's fourth degree. 4 is the highest. So we're thinking quartic, two terms. Remember, the terms are separated by minus or plus. So we're thinking binomial. So I would say this is a quartic binomial. Let's go to number three. f of x equals 6x cubed. Again, this highest power is 3, so we're thinking cubic. Only one term here, we're thinking monomial, so I would say cubic monomial. For number 4, 5x minus 1. Highest degree is 1, so we're thinking linear like a line. Two terms, that's a binomial, so I would say a linear binomial. For number 5, what do you think for this one? Well, now this one, see, it's not in standard form. Usually you want to write it from the highest power down to the lowest. So it looks like our highest power term is this guy right here. Notice that degree is 5, so we're going to call it a quintic polynomial with four terms. Okay, let's go to number 6. f of x equals 7. I actually had that one right here. So this is a constant because it's just zeroth degree, and it's a monomial. So you could say a constant monomial. Number 7... We have two terms, so that's a binomial, like bicycle, right? Two wheels. And the highest power is 6, so we would say this is a 6th degree binomial. Uh, for number 8, what do you think here? Highest power looks like it's 3, so we're looking at a cubic. 1, 2, 3, 4, so a cubic polynomial with four terms. Uh, number 9, we have 12x. This is just one term. This is a monomial. It's to the first degree, which means that it's uh, linear. So I would say a linear monomial. And then the last one, what do you think for this one? Highest exponent is 4. We have 1, 2, 3 terms, so it's a trinomial. So I would call it a quartic, so fourth degree, quartic trinomial. So great job if you're able to get these problems. If you want to see more examples, follow me over to a video I did there talking about polynomials and classifying them. I'll see you over in that video.